I joined 4 H to have something to do after school and to learn new things about my community that I didn't know about before. Oh, I joined 4 H because uh, my friend, he put in a word for it. At first, I was hesitant, but he uh, told me all the great uh, benefits that I get out of it. So I joined, and it's great. I think just after one year, I was very surprised about um, the project that we would be doing and how involved we were in the community. So I was like, this is a good thing to do. My friends also had a part to play in why I stayed because, you know, most of my friends were in the club, so. You know, it, it was, um, yeah, my friends were in there. It was a great thing to do for me after school, instead of just going home and doing homework. It was great activity for me. And, you know, it was great benefits. You know, you can learn new people, learn people, you know, make new friendships, talk, interact. Yeah. You know, you get to see new people, talk to them, learn more about people. And this is good. Um, a big benefit that I got was community service hours. When I was in Honor Society, they do require you to um, have certain service hours, so that was a big help. And just, like, just something to do after school. Same with she said, you know, uh, the community service hours. But also, the big reason why I joined was because of the summer job um, with Mary Summer Youth and 4-H. It was great, you know, I had to work at the Cornell building. And it was something totally different. It was better than getting assigned a random job. I got freedom in what I got to do for my internship. And it was great team building activities. And I got to meet new friends too. So that was, was a lot of benefits to that. I learned how to build rockets. Um, I learned how to. Oh, I did learn some like acting methods, I guess you could say. You know, different routines and like practices help you go out there. Um, well, one thing that I did in 4 H was learn how to speak publicly. Publicly, before I joined, I was very shy. I didn't really like talking to people. But being there for a couple of years, I really started to open up and like present myself better and really have a better sense of uh, talking in front of a lot of people. I got to learn how to um, be a team leader. I got to learn how to um, public speak, you know, good things like that. And also, you know, when we were doing our Black Lives Matter project, I learned how to, you know, handle conflicts in a better way than just arguing. I learned how to use, like, you know, actual facts and, you know, actual, you know, having a, I guess, intellect argument, you know, not just arguing, you know, insulting. But, you know, I got to learn how to use my words and not be so defensive and angry. I feel like they would be interested in 4-H because it's something different, you know, it's not, you know, I guess after like, you know, instead of going home and doing nothing or just, I guess, playing basketball, you could do other things like get involved in your community, help out, and you could do, there's a lot of things you can volunteer to do, a lot of benefits like we said before, like visiting colleges, going on trips, just hanging out with your friends, and helping the community out. Tyler said, I think there's a lot of benefits that we have that other clubs don't really have. I think other clubs just really focus on just having, like, you know, just somewhere to have your kids at after school or, you know, something to just place you in. But our our club has a lot of benefits, and I think it'll help you in the future, whatever you want to do. I feel like they can, the organizers, they can reach out to smaller, more urban cities, you know, reach out to kids, you know, make sure it's endearing, endearing so they can feel encouraged to join bring up all of the activities, you know, make it sound, hype it up, you know, because this is a great thing, you know, just tell the truth and say all the benefits that we reach. Thanks. What do you think, Kenyatta? What can um, we do to be more inclusive? I agree. I think that we should really just emphasize